Bernice A. King, also known as Bea King, is a captivating champion of social justice and equity. You would expect nothing less because after all, she is the daughter of two of the world's greatest humanitarians and most transformative leaders of the civil rights movement. Bernice was five years old when her father, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated. But it is clear that she embodies his and her mother's spirit. She continues their legacy by not only following the principles of peace and Kingian nonviolence that her parents lived, but by also educating, equipping, and empowering others. Like her father, she was called into ministry. When people hear her preach, they often comment that she sounds just like her dad. Her oratory skills are highly respected, leading Andrew Young to comment that Bernice makes you believe preaching is hereditary. Bernice earned her Bachelor of Arts in Psychology and a Master's of Divinity from Spelman College. She earned a Doctorate of Law degree from Emory University and received an Honorary Doctorate of Divinity degree from Wesley College. In honor of her mother, she returned to her alma mater at Spelman College in 2007 to announce the establishment of the Bea King Scholarship. She is a member of the State Bar of Georgia and a trained mediator. Bernice serves on the Southeastern Board of Directors of Operation Hope, is a member of the International Women's Forum and the National Council of Negro Women. In her mother's spirit and footsteps, as Chief Executive Officer of the King Center, she has continued to advocate for youth and families. While serving as a law clerk under Judge Glenda Hatchett in the Fulton County Juvenile Court System, Bernice realized many teens are double victims, first of society and secondly of an ineffective legal system based in retribution instead of rehabilitation. She has continued her work with youth at the Coretta Scott King Young Women's Leadership Academy, where she serves as a mentor and advisor. Through her work at the King Center, Bernice has continued to educate youth and adults about the Kenyan nonviolence principles. In 2013, she spearheaded the Let Freedom Ring and Call to Action event to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the March on Washington and her father's famous I Have a Dream speech. This global event included President Obama, former Presidents Clinton and Carter, members of Congress, as well as many other international leaders, dignitaries, and entertainers. In 2014, as part of the Center's Nonviolence 365 Education and Training Initiatives, she launched Students with King, which enables students to interact with King and Ferris family members. As part of the students' interactive conversation, students are given the opportunity to learn about a more personal side of the King legacy. Also, Bernice launched a series of interactive web talks with students throughout the country using Google Hangout as the platform. Bernice was outspoken about the incidents in Ferguson, Missouri. As part of her outreach, she provided Nonviolence 365 education training in Ferguson, Missouri that included students, teachers, law enforcement, gangs, businesses, community leaders, and activists. In January 2015, the King Center hosted its first beloved community talk entitled The Race Factor, The Lies, The Myths, and The Truth as part of its 2015 King Holiday Observance. One of the most moving and inspirational experiences was the King Center's program commemorating her mother's life and legacy entitled Mothers in the Movement from a Daughter's Perspective. No doubt, her parents are known throughout the world, but this King is also uniquely gifted and transforms those who come into contact with her. She stays connected globally via her many engagements, but also through social media as Bea King where she is frequently on Twitter and Facebook presenting or responding to social justice issues. Today, Bernice continues to expand and enhance the King Center's Nonviolence 365 Education and Training Initiatives. She is an innovative, energetic, and committed leader dedicated to fulfilling the calling of taking her parents' legacy and the King Center into a new era. I'm Delise Drain. I'm honored to join the National Civil Rights Museum and presenting the Freedom Award to my best friend and God-given sister who continues to raise the standard in the struggle for civil and human rights, Dr. Bernice A. King. <laughs>